got to love the All-Star festivities. Always a great show. We'll be back to get this thing started after this. Baseball from the Lone Star State. MLB The Show brings you the MLB All-Star Game. It's the National League All-Stars taking on the American League All-Stars. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. Singy, always special when we get together to call the All-Star Game. Well, we've done a lot of these together, and sometimes you come in and think, ho-hum, another year. But once you look and you see these all-star players, their uniforms on, them interacting with one another, you realize just how special it is. It's going to be a great one tonight. First pitch coming at you right after the break. All right, first pitch coming up. And today's starter, Shane McClanahan. Very solid starters, able to repeat his mechanics on a consistent basis, which allows him to move through a lineup and get deep into a ball game. Okay, all set to go. go. And here is league. Ronald Acuna Jr. Ronald Acuna Jr. And a 1-1. On the ground to the left, and it stays fair. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's Mookie Betts. Now snap throw to first. Even Acuna nice dives it. back in. Betts can claim something not many players can. He's won the World Series playing in the National League and the American League. And now the lefty in the air out to center. Trout is there. He's got it. That is cool. The first baseman, Freddie, Freddie Freeman up to the dish. Freeman. He's a left-handed batter who still comes up with good contact and a good average against left-handed pitchers. Acuna runs. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Coming home. The relay to the plate. He will score and they take the lead. one nothing. Just so sound in his mechanics. It's against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here's Nolan Arenado. Sneaks through, base hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second, now one out. Back-to-back -back singles, pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. First and second, one out. Luis Arise stands in. Next offering is in for a strike. Misses, that's a strikeout. Some high cheese for strike three. Typically, that high fastball, if it's close to the top of the strike zone, a hitter, if he's prepared for it, can get to it. But that one just had that little jump at the end, which indicates there's a good spin rate on it, and it didn't decrease in velocity as that hitter's internal clock would expect it to, and that's why you see the swing and miss. Swing and a miss, and that is that. One run in the inning, but they leave two. On to the bottom of the first. The NL leads this one, one to nothing.
back at Globe Life Field. And today's starting pitcher, Spencer Strider. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. Boog, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Swings and misses. It's two and two. He can live up in the zone all game if hitters will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Swings and misses struck him out. Boogie just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. So now it's Corey Seeger. Late with the swing there. 2-2. Two, two. One out, base is empty. Next oh. offering is down low. Look out. And there's ball, ball four. four. Take your base. You know, I think he's okay with that outcome. It, it wasn't an intentional Not walk, true. but he wasn't exactly trying to attack the zone either. Man at first with one gone. Here's Trout. That's in there. the ground right side and it's through for a hit quick throw back in lead runner holds it second with one gone that is good. now it's Aaron Judge up to the plate ball to strike the pitch he's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam Two on, one out. Next two, two. offering misses down and away. Ah. Swing and a miss struck him out. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you'll get away with some of those. More margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. And that's down and away. Well, with this many pitches thrown here in this first inning, I mean, you're giving the other team a really good look. He's going to have to find a way to get some weak contact, maybe a swing and miss, get into that dugout and hit the reset button. Next offering in there for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. And another ball. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Two on, two outs. High fly ball, right field. This can go the distance. Home run. A gigantic blast. And they lead it. It's 3-1. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. So two down. Here's the left fielder, Randy Arozarena. Ball to strike. Headed down the line. Betts running hard to get it. Can't get there. This one lands foul. 
Two down, nobody on. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. But the biggest swing of the inning comes right here, a three-run homer. It's now a 3-1 ball game. All set for the Leading start up, of the inning. The Here's the power hitting catcher, Sean Murphy. Sean. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Here's a 1 1. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. He was all over that one. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Here's Orlando Arcia. Next offering upstairs. Runner at first with no outs here. Swing and a miss. Bounce full, three and two. Joe McDonald, our umpire behind the dish. Yeah, boo, Joey Matt. Sometimes a little tough to figure out. We may see some hitters and pitchers asking him where a pitch was here or there, but most of the time he keeps it reasonable. Kicks and deals. Swings through it for the K. Had him out front for strike three. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. This is Corbin Carroll. The 1-1. On the ground to third. There's one. Double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We go to the bottom of inning number two. The AL out front here, three to one. And we're back, bottom half of inning number two. And here's the first baseman, Yandy Diaz. The wind of the pitch. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Line drive. Carroll tracks it down for the out. Batting eight. From the Texas Rangers. Here's Josh Young. The third baseman. Kicks and fires. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Arise. Off balance throw in time. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Two out, space is empty. And now Jonah Heim. Two out, space is empty. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Swinging, he chased the changeup, and good work there as he gets a one-two-three. Al down quietly as the lead remains three-one.
And welcome back to the ballpark. Here's a big power threat. Ronald Acuna Jr. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. Clips the outside corner. It's two and two. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. Still two and two after the foul ball. This to center field. Trout settles under it. Makes the grab one away. Now back. The right field. Here's Mookie now. Yeah. Betts is definitely one of those guys that excels at everything he does, Boog. In terms of baseball, he can do it all. He's won World Series, batting titles, gold gloves, and everything else you can think of. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. One down, base is empty. And that one in the air, center field. And that's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still oh. hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Man at first, one away. Ah. And a big swing and a miss. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three-pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there, at least to foul something off, extend that at bat. Here's Nolan Arenado. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a miss. Pulled the string on the changeup. And L leaves one. Score holds. It's 3-1. As we go to the last of the third. And yeah, the batter now, Marcus Simeon. The pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And a pitch. And another ball. Two two now. Simeon waits. That's a ball. Hold down. Hard hit left side. Throw pulls him off the bag and he's safe. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty much every time. Pretty routine. Hard to tell if he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with.
Corey Seager now. The Dodgers made him a first-round pick back in 2012. 18th overall that year for Seager, Boog, and Carlos. There's one. On to Freddie. Double play. He's so good at coming across the bag and snagging it with the bare hand to throw. I like the flair that he brings day in and day out. Here's Mike Trout. There's a swing and a drive. He one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's got a double. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So, man aboard. It's Aaron Judge now. Not close with that one. And a count two and one. The strategy of winning a ball game, when you can make that pitcher work a little more, expose himself by throwing pitches, that could be the key to winning perhaps later on. So good job of extending this inning, getting a knock with two outs to bring the number four hole hitter up. Next offering is in for a strike. Runner at second, two down. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. A.L. leaves one, and the score stays three to one. The second baseman, Luis Arias. Here's a 1 1. Lifted in the air out to left. The Rosarena moving under it. Corrals it. And a quick out number one. Now back, the designated hitter, JD. Now JD Martinez at the plate. One down, base is empty. That Three clips a corner. One ball, two strikes. That one lifted to left. And Martinez is out. And yeah, there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Two down, nobody on. Foul ball. off the plate that time. Well, he might have to look for a different put-away pitch right here, 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at-bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Trout ranges back. Tattooed and gone! He circles the bases. It's 3-2. an excellent job of getting his arms extended to get the fat part of the bat to the baseball. Wrists do not roll over. They stay through the zone and on plane. Excellent swing. Base is empty with two away. Here's the shortstop at the play. Orlando Arcia. And the pitch. That one is hammered right field. That's back there. Gone! They go back to back, and we're all square. It's 3-3. That's a game changer right there. A big time swing, and we're all tied up.
Back-to-back -back homers, always a special feeling at the ballpark, especially if it's your team that does it and those guys get to slap hands at home plate. This is the kind of thing that can really fire up a ball club. So digging in, Corbin Carroll. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in. Top half of inning number four. Outside. The count now two and two. Two outs. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. But two round trippers in this inning, the long ball was working. We're tied now with three apiece. Back at Globe Life Field, bottom of the fourth, here's Jordan Alvarez. This is a batter right here who really produces in these night games, and we saw the latest example of it in his first A.B. The wind of the pitch. And another ball. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. And that's a little bit high. And a count is three and one. That clips the corner. Outside, and that is ball four. His ability to draw walks has been something. It's been part of his career since day one. Now the left fielder, Randy Rosarena. Next pitch is outside. Well, on this count, runner not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, Boo. Yandy Diaz waits on deck. Righty delivers. And ball four to a board. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. First and second, no outs. Now here is Yandy Diaz. And that one fouled off. First and second, no outs. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. And the one-two misses to even the count. The pitch. Off the plate. Three and two now. Two walks in the inning already, and he just doesn't seem comfortable out there. Like, he can find the right mechanics and then repeat them. At the belt and fires. Out of line, out towards center. Brings it in. Now batting. Third baseman. Young. Now the third baseman, Josh Young. Definitely wants to stay out of the double play here. Ball on the ground in the infield. Should be an inning ending double play. Swing and a miss. Clearly he was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. Alvarez, the lead runner at second. A Rosarena at first. One gone. And a base hit on the line. Betts quickly gets it back in. And the go-ahead run stops at third base. Everything came together for him. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. So base is loaded with one away. 
Fly ball down the line. Settles underneath it. Drops into the glove. Both runners tagging from second and third. The throw is offline. He's saved. Four to three. They take the lead. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Here is Marcus Simeon. And a pitch. That one missed. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Corbin Burns up and loosening in the pen. Diaz also throwing. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And he grounds one back up the middle. Oh, look at the stop. It's there, and that's a great play. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. And we're back. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now, Ronald Acuna Jr. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. And a strike. Well, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes, you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but in some way, you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now it's Mookie Betts. What did chase that time? Two balls, one strike. The 2 1. And a foul ball. Hit hard on the ground to short. Zips it to first. And Betts is gone. The first baseman, number five. Ready. Freeman. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Late that time, and it's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. And the NL is down in order. Score holds at 4-3. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's Corey Seager to hit. Not shortstop. Corey Seager. That one hammered center field. Could be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. In safely, it's a leadoff double in the fifth. Now at the plate. And a pitch. That misses. And it's two and one. Trout swings. Hammers one. Deep left field. Carroll reaches back. And that ball is gone. 
they throw a pair on the board. It's 6-3. Already playing with the lead, and now they're celebrating a home run. They're having a great time out there. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Tori Lavello is out of the dugout, and he's going to make a move here. Spencer Strider won't go any further tonight. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Corbin Burns taking over on the mound. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. Corbin Burns. Here comes Aaron Judge. Cut ah. out and missed 96 of that fastball. One, two. The one two. And they'll do it again. Judge rips that one. Sizes this one up. Brings it in. And there's one down. The batter, number 44. Designated hitter. Yordan. And here is your Don Alvarez. The part about Burns' journey that's so interesting. Former fourth round pick out of St. Mary's, where he pitched alongside Tony Gonsolin. One down, base is empty. Sliced hard but foul. But you go back and look at Corbin Burns in 2019. He threw 49 innings and had an 8.82 ERA. Right-handed reliever. Bounce to the left side. It's through for a hit. Now he'll turn for second. The throw in. In safely. It's a double at his second hit. Randy or Rosarena. No, Just off the, the inside edge. Two one. Alvarez, the runner at second with one away. Strike two. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. And another ball. Full count. Up the middle. Arcia gathers and throws to first. They get the out on a Rosarena. The first baseman, number two, Yandy. Diaz. So two down now, and here is Yandy Diaz. Man at second. Hard hit down the line and left. Makes a nice running catch. And that is that. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run homer. And they've doubled up now. It's 6-3. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Pablo Lopez. Now, Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So... This is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. So here's the cleanup hitter, Nolan Arenado. 
the third baseman, Nolan Aranado. And here it comes. Ball. And that's off the inside edge. Three and one now. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Yenier Cano, the right handed sinker baller. He looks to be readying himself. Jansen, a hard throwing right hander, up as well. And he that's walked the ball. him. Take your base. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't off offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Base. So up next, Luis arrives. Oh, oh yeah. And oh. another ball. Three That's one, and he couldn't Take come up with it. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Here's JD Martinez. Martinez. the ground he gets there with the slide on the Simeon a sensational double play well that's what you hope for if you're out there on the mound first and second nobody out somehow get a ground ball he got it right there nice double play by the infield here's Sean Murphy right through there for a strike Arenado on third with two out. Bounced up the middle. Tosses to first. That's the third out. So they're able to work around a pair of walks in the inning. 8-9-1 scheduled in the bottom of the sixth. It's a lead for the American League. Six to three. Well, we go bottom six. Here's the third baseman, Josh Young. The third baseman. Here's a 1-1. Foul ball there. The 1-2. Down the line. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. Right hander kicks deals. Two, two. And another ball. The 2-2. Two -two. Hard hit, right side. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The catcher, number 28, Jonah Heim. Now it's going to be Jonah Heim. Chop to third, Arenado. Tosses across the first, two up, two down. Now back, second baseman, Marcus Simeon. So the lineup flips over. Now a chance for Marcus Simeon. Huh. Next offering is in for a strike. Full count. Two down, nobody on. Rip to third. Throw on to Freeman. Three up, three down, inning over. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We're through six full. 
the AL leads it six to three. Back at Globe Life Field. And now Orlando Arcia. Orlando Arcia. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One, two. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next offering upstairs. It's a good take. Up the middle. On to first. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. Here's the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. Base is empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. Swings through that one out in front that time. is the three. fastball up the ladder struck him out well that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count and as a pitcher it really allows you to start expanding the zone hitters become defensive and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide and what happens is because of the pressure you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is and that's what leads to the strikeout and that's in the dirt On the ground, right side, and it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning alive. I don't know how he's able to shoot that pitch the other way and still put something on it. That pitch was inside, and he let it get. So they turn things over to the righty, Luis Castillo. Luis Castillo. Stepping in, Mookie Betts. The right fielder, Mookie Betts. Run around the move. They pitch out. Safe at second with a stolen base. Well, I'm sure they're pretty frustrated. They guessed right on the pitch out. The throw was okay, but they still couldn't cut him down. Aside from a bad jump, they stood no chance at catching him right there. Oh. Wouldn't chase that time. Freddie Freeman on deck for the National League. High fly ball out to left field. Has this one sized up? Nabs it. And that is that. One left for the National Leaguers and can't cut into that 6 3 deficit. Back in Arlington, bottom of the inning. Now the number two hitter, Corey Seeger. With this kind of lead, he can swing freely, try to hit the ball out of the park, do what he loves to do. Two-two now. Ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the right-hander deals. Gets a piece and stays alive.
Here's a high fly ball out to center. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. And Seeger is set down. And there's one down. Stepping in the long ball threat, Mike Trout. Can't forget the two-run shot he launched out of here in the fifth. Yeah, one of the biggest swings of the game, Boog, as he looks to make even more of an impact in this at-bat right here. One down, base is empty. No. Just misses without one. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Hurry. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Really love the pitch sequence right oh, there. Right I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher Aaron. on the same page right now. Judge. Aaron Judge at the plate. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. That Two one won. not close. Two and one. Left field. Carroll moves towards it. And he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. And we're back, leading ready to begin the, the eighth. Lead. Leading off, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Right side, hard hit. Fires over to first. And Freeman is retired. Fastball groove right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. Now here is Nolan Arenado. Well, it's critical right here that they bear down and turn in some quality at bats. Try to chip away at that lead because if it gets to the ninth, that closer's coming in. There's the strike. Ah. Now fly ball to right center. Trout sizing it up. Makes the grab for the second out. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Two outs, base is empty. At the play, Luis Arias. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. Smoked on the ground a second. Whips it to first. And the inning is over. So they make short work of them there. Home half of inning number eight straight ahead. The American Leaguers on top. Six to three. Back now, now new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Devin Williams. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. And now the DH, Jordan Alvarez. The designated hitter, Jordan Alvarez. The pitch. And that's outside. And now three balls and a strike. The pitch. And that's in there at the knees. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Now the left fielder, Randy or Rosarena. One down, base is empty. So a foul ball makes it one and two.
Riding to the plate. Battling here as he fouls it away. Bottom look in. Two out. Boog, I think even when you know he's got that pitch in his arsenal, you're still going to have a hard time recognizing and reacting to it unless you've seen it several times. And honestly, if you can hit that pitch, I'm concerned because you probably can't hit anything else that he throws. That one right there locked him up. Yandy Diaz digs in now. That's and that's ball. off the inside edge. Three balls and a strike. And that clips the inside corner. Got him swinging. American League goes down in order, but they still lead it 6 3. We're back, and on the mound is the closer, Carlos Estevez. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball, and we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure, this one included. We'll see if he can wrap up the win and get himself a save. And another ball. Looking to get something going, this is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. There's a strike. Kicks and deals. That okay. missed by a lot. And the count's full. And he deals. Ground ball up the middle, and it's through for a hit, and the leadoff man aboard. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys pumping their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. Here's the catcher, Sean Murphy. That one fouled off, two and two. If you're going to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. And yeah, the righty deals. High fly ball out towards left field. A Rosarena going back. On the warning track. And holds it in. As good as he's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand, you cannot hang a breaking ball right there. Lucky it stayed in the ballpark. He's two outs away. And now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. Kicks and fires. Way upstairs, three and one. Popped up right side. Simeon calls it in two away. So they're down to their final out. Here's the left fielder, Corbin Carroll. Two outs. Fastball in for a strike. Two and two now. Well, so many hard throwing relievers in the game these days, you would think that hitters have made the adjustment, but. <laughs> Got it. Ball game. 
Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. 6-3 our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.